Hello, everyone. Thank you for still being with us. I am Vlad. I'm, I'm glad to. Oh, I'm Diana. <laughs> Sorry. And we're going to talk to you, if you've not heard about it already, about the 64-bit requirement on Google Play. Show of hands, who's heard of it? OK, so not everyone. Good to still talk about it. We've recently introduced a requirement that apps that are on Google Play support 64-bit. Why did we do that? Well, there's performance benefits and there's security benefits, and it's time that we take advantage of them. By the way, Android has been supporting 64-bit for five years now. <laughs> Where we are, we announced, first announced it in late 2017. We made the policy very clear in January of this year, and starting August, we've enforced that new apps and updates all have to support 64-bit. If the app is native, uh, is uh, managed code, Java or Kotlin, nothing to do, everything works. If you have any native code, if you have 32-bit code, you need to also have 64-bit code. There are some exceptions. They're well publicized. Uh, the most important one is for uh, games that have Unity 5.6 or older. Those, uh, app, those apps and games have until 2021 to provide a 64-bit um, variant. Obviously, if you add more native code to your app, that might increase the size of your APK. The solution is don't use an APK, use an app bundle. The format allows you to upload everything in one piece to Google Play, and then Google Play will serve the right thing to the right device, minimizing the size of the download. If you don't know whether your app um, has native code or supports 64-bit, that might happen, for example, if you have an external library that you're using, that might be bringing native code without you no uh, noticing. Um, on Google Play, on the app release page, you will see that small notification telling you that everything is fine, or if not, uh, it will tell you exactly what version codes are problematic. And now, on to Diana. So how do you actually become 64-bit compliant? Um, we consider it a four-step process. The first is you can start by using APK Analyzer in Android Studio. Um, basically, uh, if you open to see what 32-bit dependencies you have under the libraries for x86 and ARM ABI v7a, you can see your 32-bit dependencies. Um, you can next do a 64-bit build. Uh, most of the game engines, well, all, the game engine, major game engines, all support it now. Um, CMake, uh, NDK Build, and Gradle, you can all target 64-bit. Upgrade your SDKs and libraries. In many cases, third-party developers have, or third-party library developers have, all released 32-bit or 64-bit versions of their libraries to upgrade to, but you may need to contact those developers. And then you can test locally as well as on Google Play, and then use testing tracks in order to see how it rolls out. A couple of gotchas that we have experienced or we have heard from developers that we just wanted to walk through in order to get the compiler on your side. Um, you may have seen this if you've done 64-bit migrations for other platforms or for your app. Um, the main one is that pointers no longer fit in 32 bits, um, and uh, especially things like int are 32 bit only, so you'll need to update those. Um, our compiler flags, these three, can all help you identify the areas where you might still be compiling to 32 bit. Um, another gotcha or catch is around implicit function declarations. Uh, these are usually harmless, but um, basically if, if you're not actually declaring what the function is declare, uh, what the function should be, the type, it will essentially assume int and then it will drop those extra 32 bits. Um, so you can find this class of error with this handy compiler um, flag. Uh, all of this is uploaded onto developer.android.com. We have a full page on 64 bits, so you can actually copy and paste these flags in. And 
Last, uh, there are two more things, one of which I don't have a slide for. Uh, we've often heard issues with render script um, producing BC files, and these .bc files are 32-bit only, and this typically will show up if you're using older build tools on versions before 21. Um, basically, you'll need to upgrade your build tools and tell it to delete the .bc files, and those will um, solve your render script issues. And the last one is around multi-APK. So while we recommend you use app bundles for 64-bit to help reduce your code, uh, you can use multi-APK and declare a max SDK version for APKs that are older than 64-bit. Um, this, this is our DAC page, 64-bit uh, requirement, which has all of this information and more, so please go visit. Done.